Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever part of the world you're watching from. My name is Emmanuel Ikechukwahanwe and I offer growth strategies to startups, NGOs and multinationals. And just in case you're watching me for the first time, we usually have weekly videos of this kind where we help startups, NGOs and multinationals to make their next and best move. So today we're going to be talking about something very important. I'll be listing five essential designs I feel every business owner, every startup founder should have. One is an invoice. An invoice is that document that you, you know, issue a customer to say, this is what you should pay, right? More like billing the customer. It's very important. I, I've had an experience, you know, when I left the university, one of the very things I did, you know, in those early days was, um, creating Wikipedia profiles for public figures, um, you know, politicians and celebrities. But then I had this invoice that was irresistible. I mean, I may share that invoice just in case you need that invoice. You might want to indicate in the comment box or um, maybe come to my profile, Emmanuel or Hanway, to make a request for it. I had this invoice that was very irresistible that I was able to use to command the figures I commanded then. I won't mention the figures for security reasons, right? But I was able to use this invoice, you know, to, 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 inf to kind of convince, you know, this high network and high, high network individuals and high profiled individuals. And invoice is very important. And in the later part of this video, I'm going to tell you, you know, some of the tools you can use to make all of these designs, right? So the next document or design I feel you should have is also a receipt. A receipt is very important, you know, as, as, um, as very maybe common, you may find it, um, receipts show some form of formality, right? For some people who want to buy products from you, maybe they are buying it from the, for their offices and they need to be accountable for, you know, those purchases they've made. For some people, they are just that formal. In fact, when they ask for receipts and you begin to stutter, they, they won't take you serious and they might not come back again. I mean, if you sell on WhatsApp status, you sell on Facebook stories, Instagram stories, you don't want to remain a, a WhatsApp seller and Facebook seller, right? You want to grow big, you know, you want to engage high profile clients and um, little practices of this kind, little habits of this kind in your businesses would help you, you know, make that leap. So go design a receipt. It's a, it's a very important document. Another document or design I want you to have is a business card. See, all of these things, technology has made it so easy for us to make these designs without necessarily having, you know, the huge technicalities, the huge technical skills, you know, that people would you know, ordinarily have in the past to be able to do all of this. Have, do a business card design, right? This is, this empowers you when you go for physical events, when you go to, you communicate, even online, you can share your business card with, you know, uh, with prospects. But then when you do this design, you've reduced the cost of the designing. You could just go and do the printing and arm yourself with it. That is your tool. Right, just like how a farmer will go with a hoe, you know, or go with um, a tractor if it's mechanized, you go with your card, right? If you're for, for somebody who has service, you need a card or maybe something that describes the service you, you, you offer, maybe a book or something, right? If you have products, while you are going with the products, go with a card, you know, for communication and all of that, right? So, the next design and the next document I feel you should have is to have business flyer with prizes. This is important. Have a business flyer with prizes. I shouldn't ask you um, what other products you have and you start listing it out for me on WhatsApp. Just send, in fact, it saves you time, it saves you stress. You have it, you know, stand by immediately. Someone asks for the document, you forward it immediately, right? You have a flyer that says, this is, these are the services I do and these are their prizes, this is the discount and all of that. You know, why, why I'll be stating, you know, some of the tools you'll be needing for this design is so that you don't make quack designs because designs also have a way of communicating what you represent. It has a way of communicating, right, um, the kind of value, you know, you, you would offer or the, the perceived value that the customer should have concerning your product or your service. So you don't want to do a shady design because I'm advising you to do your designs yourself. No, right? And if you watch... Um, okay, that's the fourth design. I'm going to mention the fifth one, but I didn't include a logo because logos are supposed to be designed by professionals. So if you don't know how to, if you're not a professional, you know, in designing, in graphics designing, 
I, I'm, it's not advised for you to design your logo yourself. And that's why I, didn't, I don't have logo in the five designs I want you to you know, have as a small business owner. So that I say you should design, I'm not saying you should do a quack, shady design. You're going to do a design that is also irresistible, a design that is appealing to the customers and appealing to maybe stakeholders and investors. So the last but not the least design I want you to have as a business owner, a startup founder is a graphical testimonial, right? So you want to be intentional to get testimonials when you sell, when you sell products, when you sell services, even as a, as a digital um, creator, when you speak in events, you know, when you deliver lectures, get testimonials. If they don't say anything, request for testimonials verbally. Let them come to your DM and say it or say it in the group or say it over a video, say it in a voice note, you know, get all of those scripts, get all of those um, testimonials and then have a form of a graphical representation of those testimonials. Now, this, when you have these things handy, when you are engaging a customer who is a, a little bit, you know, inquisitive, a, li a little bit, um, 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 maybe trying to get information on his or her own, you know, you want to send those um, bunch of testimonials that you've gathered to them. So you don't just start sending random WhatsApp messages or random Facebook messages, but rather you've, you know, use graphic design to, you know, compile um, all of those, you know, testimonials you've gotten from your customers. So when you when when they are when they are skeptical, you quickly forward that to say this 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 is what other people are saying about the product. It's a nice product, and I've been selling it for the past two years. I've never gotten any complaint. This is what this is what people are saying about the service. These are the testimonials. You know, the service has helped people. The service has helped people. You know, achieve their dreams, achieve their goals, and all of that. Have these things handy. It is going to save you stress. It's going to save you time. Now, for the tools you need to build these, um, build these designs, there are several tools out there. When you Google, you see different tools, right? Um, people use CorelDRAW, but then you have to have some a bit of technical ability to use CorelDRAW. There's Photoshop, there's Adobe Suits, right? Um, there are also some very, you know, uh, mushy mushroom. I use the word mushroom because there are so many of them. Mushroom graphics design apps you know on play store you know and your um, apple store right but then um, i use canva um, um, canva is a very great tool that you do just beyond graphics design you can do cv development you can do pitch deck development right you can create infographics canva is a big tool i know you you know what canva is you must have heard what canva is right um, and just in case you're hearing Canva for the first time, is a platform, a do-it-yourself. I call it DIY, do-it-yourself platform where you can, you know, do your graphics design yourself and any form of design yourself. Canva.com is the website. They have the free version and also have the paid version. So uh, if you want to explore, like if you want to, you know, utilize more of its resources, you would have to, you know, pay for the premium. The premium is about $199 annually and that is about 70 if you're in nigeria it's about 70,000 to 80,000 naira right but for business owners and startups i just thought it wise to give you access to the premium canva if you are interested to have in you know access to the premium canva where you can use all of the tools you know present in canva all of the resources present in canva without limitation you want to say in the comment box hey I need access to the Canva Premium and I will get in touch with you, you know, because I want to see 70K to 80K is much for a small business owner who is basically maybe selling um, a product that, is, that has a unit cost of maybe um, 5,000 Naira or 10,000 Naira. It means you have to sell 7, 10 products to be able to, you know, pay for a Canva Premium annually, right? So I thought it wise, you know, as part of my support to startups and SMEs to give you access to the Canva Premium. If you need it, you could come to the comment box or find me anywhere online, Emmanuel Lohanwe, anywhere online, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I'm going to respond. Thank you so much, and I hope in the next video, I want to see your graphics, I want to see your invoice, um, and just in case you need the invoice that I use to, um, 
I used while I graduated from university to create Wikipedia profiles for public figures. Do well to reach out to me and I'm going to share you that benevolently. Right. Thank you so much. My name is Emmanuel and I'm your new friend.